Hi guys, let's say you have a chess academy or you want to teach chess online and reach students from anywhere in the world. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to teach chess online using a software called ChessPlay. It's a platform made for chess coaches and academies to manage students, create classrooms and conduct live chess sessions. We'll go through it step by step and see how you can start teaching chess online with ease. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Once you log in into ChessPlay as an admin, this is what you'll see. To get access to this page, you can visit the link in the description and schedule a meeting with the team. And you will get a free trial for 7 days. First, let's see how to add the students into the system. To add the students, just click Add Students. Enter the details here. Click Save. You can add as many students as you want, share the credentials with them. And there you go, we have successfully added the students. Next, let's move on to adding your coaches. So coaches are the people who are going to be teaching the students in your academy. So to add the coaches, just click here. Click here to add coaches. Fill in their details. And click save. And now we have successfully added the coaches. Once you add your students and the coach, you can now assign the students to each coach. So this means only the students that you assign can be seen by the selected coach and they will be able to manage the students which are assigned to them. To assign the students to the coach, click on three dots here next to the coach's name and select assign students. Click add to add the students. Click save. And that's it. We have successfully assigned the students to the coach. Now let's log in as a coach. Let's enter the username and password we created for the coach and click login. And this is how the coach login will look like. The coach dashboard in ChessPlay has access to students, classrooms, quizzes, performance reports and so on. So next, let's see how a student can log into the platform. Once students are provided with the credentials, they can log in. And they will be taken to the student's dashboard like this. Now this is where they can attend classes, take quizzes, and review their overall progress and reports. So this is how a student can log into the platform. Next, let's see how to create a classroom. A classroom in ChessPlay is where you'll teach your students online. So here the coach will create a classroom which the students can then join. And once both the coach and the students are in the classroom, the students can hear their coach's voices just like they're sitting right next to them. Now, any move that the coach makes can be seen by the students too. Also, the coach can load chess games using PGN files and quiz students to make their moves on the board. Now the coach sees every student's moves easily on their screen. You can also easily draw arrows on the board to explain the moves to the students. So this is how a coach can teach chess to students in real time using the classroom feature. So now we are back in the admin dashboard. To create a new classroom, let's click on classrooms. Now click on create classroom. Fill in these details of the class, like the start time, the duration, the students will be part of the class and the coach. ChessPlay has a built-in video call feature so that you can interact with your students directly on the platform. But if you prefer, you can also add a Zoom or a Google Meet link here which will be shown to the students at the time of the class. Once done, click Create Classroom and the classroom has been created. Now if we go to the students window and click Refresh, here the student can now see the class. Now as the coach, to start the class, click on Start Classroom to begin the class. Now to join as students, they need to click on Join Classroom. It will take them to the Classroom Management page so they can click here to join. Once the students join the class, they will be able to view the live chessboard and the coach can start a built-in video call by clicking Start Meeting. Welcome to the class. Today, we're going to talk about some advanced opening strategies. Any move the coach makes will instantly reflect on the student's board so they can follow along without missing a thing. Next, let's see how you can interact with the students during the class. As a coach, you can assign the sides to the students to start the game. To assign a side to the student, you can just choose it from here and they'll be able to play that specific side. Once you've assigned, the students can play along with the coach and as a coach, you can guide the students during the class by using these options. Let's take them one by one. 
the first one is to show coordinates now this will display the coordinates on each square for both the coach and the students as shown here this will help the students know which square you're referring to in the class the next one is highlighting the square you can use this to highlight by right clicking on it and it will highlight a specific piece on the board like this the next is the arrow drawing tool when a student makes a wrong move you can guide them by using this tool simply right click and drag on the chessboard to draw arrows like this now if you want to start a new game you can reset the game using this option next we have a customized position this allows you to set up positions as you want on the chessboard ask the student to start the game from there this is how you can guide them during the live class sessions this feature will be helpful for students to practice different situations and improve their strategies the next one is loading pgn and fen if you already have a specific position or a game saved you can easily load it here using a fen or a pgn string fen shows the current position of all the pieces on the board like a snapshot of the game at a certain point pgn shows the whole game move by move from the start just paste the string in the box and click load and the board updates instantly with the positions that you've set in the fen now to train the students on different scenarios and practice different strategies chessplay offers pre-made pgns or game positions for you so if you go to the pgn library you can see the pgns that are already set up here you can just load them and start the quiz instantly and if you've already created your own pgn you can also upload it here so let's see how you can upload a pgn to chessplay first create a new folder to keep your games organized inside a folder you have two options you can either create a pgn manually or you can upload an existing one to create a pgn manually you can set up the board using the drag and drop or paste an fen string then play out the moves give your game a title and save it now this is useful if you want to build a custom game from a specific position if you already have a pgn file you can just upload it from your computer once saved go back to the classroom and all these games will be available to use in your classroom sessions so this is how you can interact with the students during the class now if you want to end the class you can do that by clicking on end classroom and the session will be completed as a coach you can review the entire classroom activity after the session to do that go to completed where you can see the list of completed classroom lists inside each session you will find tabs for attendance quizzes student solutions and leaderboard In the attendance tab, you can see how many students attended the class, how long they stayed, and who missed it. The quizzes tab shows all the quizzes conducted during that class. In student solutions, students can revisit class topics, review their quiz performance, and even check which answers they got wrong. And finally, the leaderboard tab displays all the rankings for that particular class, adding a fun competitive touch. Now let's see how you can create quizzes for the students. This is a great way to help them practice and reinforce what they have learned in a fun and interactive format. It can be given as a homework or an assignment after the classroom session has ended. To create a quiz, just head over to the quiz section and click create quiz. Give it a title. Set the number of attempts. Schedule the time. And pick the PGNs you want to include. then set the time limit then the total points and choose which students to assign it to and that's it your quiz is ready and the students can access it directly from the dashboard next let's see how students can attend the quiz to do that let's go to the students dashboard and here you can see that the student has received the notification on the quiz that we created so let's click on start quiz 
go to not attended and click start quiz and they can start playing the quiz each quiz has a limit so the students need to answer within that time so this is how the students can take up the quiz once they have completed the quiz how will you review it let's see how a coach can review the student's performance so let's go to the coach's dashboard and click on the quiz here you can see each student's score number of attempts and the time taken to complete the quiz so this is how you can track your student's performance on quizzes next let's see how you can share the report with the student or their parents to share the report go to the academy and here you can see all the students if you click on these three dots you can see the student report option so let's click on that and as you can see this shows the whole performance report of the student now if you want to share this with your parents you can simply copy the url and share it with them so this is how you can share the report with the students in the same way students can also share their performance once they have completed the quiz if they go to the leaderboard section here they can see the points scored and also view the points scored by all the other students this way the students can compete with one another chessplay also offers an analysis board and this is where the students can review the games try out different moves and study positions in detail it'll also be useful for both coaches and students to improve their game next let's see how the analysis board works click on the analysis board here and as a coach you can practice different strategies and try tricky positions here students can also use it to review their games and identify areas where they have performed well or where improvement is needed they can load past games in the analysis board which helps them to look back at what moves worked and didn't work and understand the game better so they can improve next time you can also turn on the chess engine and this chess engine will instantly evaluate positions such as powerful moves and highlight tactics that are easy to overlook making it a powerful tool for learning and improvement there's also another useful feature for students which is playing with a computer this can help students to practice what they've learned by playing against an ai opponent they can choose a difficulty level and the side and start a match right away they can also load a game you played with the computer in the analysis board and check the moves and see where we could have played better all right next let's see another way in which students can track their progress and see how their skills improve over time now chess play makes it easy for students who play games on chess.com or leechess.org to track their scores and ratings against other opponents directly within the chess play app let's see how students can check their game reports on these platforms directly inside chess play When students open the report section they can choose the platform they play on and have an account with they need to enter the username here to track their game stats and the ratings improvements once done they can see their game stats here you can also analyze the games that have been played on chess.com and to do that scroll up click here You can see that the list of games that you played on chess.com is visible on our chess play dashboard. If you click on analyze game, immediately it will get you the chess board and show you the move history of that game. Through this, you can analyze your game and learn from it. You can also turn on chess engine which will evaluate the positions and also suggest powerful moves which can help you improve your game. So this is how your students can view the reports of their games and monitor their performance. Students can also view their overall report by clicking the chess play report. This helps the students to understand how they are performing and what areas they need to focus on allowing them to continue improving. Apart from what we've seen so far, Chessplay also comes with a lot of other powerful features that make online coaching even easier. During a live session, the coach can instantly turn any position on the board into a quiz, set the correct solution, and let students try it out in real time. Next, as a coach, You can upload a PDF that contains chess study materials like notes, puzzles, or annotated games, so students can easily access it directly during the class. You can even extract games from PDFs by taking a snap from the PDF and chess play would read it automatically and load the entire game as an FEN on the board. The next is enabling the gamify mode.
and this is especially useful for beginners and kids as it makes the board more fun and engaging while they learn the basics. You can also save classroom games directly into the PGN library that you can revisit later, reuse or share with students whenever needed. So to save the game, click save here. Select the PGN folder. Give a title for the game and click save game. And with batch classrooms, managing large groups becomes effortless. As a coach, you can first create student batches and then simply set up a classroom and assign that batch to the session. This way the whole group can join the class at once, making the process quick and well organized. Altogether, these features make Chessplay a complete platform for coaches and academies to deliver smooth, interactive and highly effective online chess classes. So that's how you can use Chessplay to teach chess online. Explore the features and try them out and make your coaching sessions easier and so much more fun. To get access to Chessplay, all you have to do is just go to chessplay.io and then book a demo. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.